Chapter 1 What is Flow? Most of us are constantly chasing happiness. However, it is very difficult to attain in a lasting way. Usually, when we achieve a goal or acquire something, we'll be temporarily happy. But that feeling won't last, soon, we'll develop a new desire for something even better. As a result, we're constantly looking ahead towards the next thing, a nicer home, a better job, a fun vacation. But when we depend on external things to provide happiness, we lose the ability to find happiness within. If these fleeting experiences and material rewards don't make us feel happy and fulfilled in the long term, then what does? The psychologist Mahali Ksiks and Mahalai, in his book Flow, set out to answer this question by surveying people about the happiest moments in their lives. He and his researchers have studied thousands of people all over the world, in Korea, Thailand, Japan, Italy, and the US. And they found that across ages, cultures, and locations, people tend to describe experiences of happiness in the same way. All of them reported feeling their best when they were totally immersed in an activity requiring effort and focus. In this state, writes Ksiks and Mahalai, nothing else seems to matter, the experience itself is so enjoyable that people will do it even at great cost. He calls this state flow, and has developed a highly influential theory of why it's so satisfying, and how we can achieve it more often. By understanding what the flow state is, we can set up the ideal conditions to experience it. We can apply the rules of flow to almost every aspect of our lives, finding more enjoyment, productivity, and even greater meaning in life. Why does achieving flow give us lasting happiness when achieving material rewards doesn't? Ksiksent Mahalai explains this by making a distinction between two positive feelings, pleasure and enjoyment. Many of the things we chase give us immediate pleasure, like sleep, food, sex, entertainment, vacations, shopping, and relaxing, but only temporarily. Pleasure, Ksiksent Mahalai writes, is an important component of the quality of life, but by itself does not bring us happiness. Instead, he argues that we gain lasting happiness from activities that provide enjoyment. Enjoying an experience requires focus and intent, rather than just passive consumption. The immersive activities that create enjoyment also allow growth, a sense of novelty, of accomplishment, or achieving something challenging. Identifying activities that are enjoyable is key to achieving flow. The Main Ideas, Chapter 1 Lasting happiness comes from achieving a flow state. We experience flow as total immersion in an activity that requires effort and focus, and entails growth. Activities we consume passively can give us pleasure, but this feeling is temporary and does not lead to true happiness. Chapter 2 Finding Focus Achieving flow depends not only on the challenges or activities we choose, but also on the state of our minds. Ksiksent Mahalai believes that anytime our attention is diverted away from an activity, we are interrupting flow. The distraction could be anything, anxiety and worry, pain, jealousy, hunger or tiredness. Each of these will cause a reaction that pulls us away from the task we are attempting to focus on. What's more, these distractions create inner disorder and disorganization, a state Ksiksent Mahalai calls psychic entropy. All this inhibits flow. But it doesn't have to. We can control our mental state. Rather than constantly react to new information, we can practice choosing what we pay attention to and what we allow into our minds. Once we learn how to avoid the disorder of psychic entropy, we can achieve flow. But avoiding psychic entropy can be hard, especially when the thoughts distracting us are central to our goals. This happened to Julio, a participant in Xeeks and Mahalai's studies, after noticing that his tire was damaged. For days, he worried about his car and how he would be able to get to work if the tire gave out. Julio became distracted and irritable. He usually did his work easily and with time to spare, but now he was holding up the line. In these kinds of situations, how can we get rid of distracting thoughts and feelings? Here's a strategy that Rico, one of Julio's co-workers, shared with the researchers, set new challenges for yourself that don't leave time or mental space for worry. Like Julio, Rico finds work easy, but he finds other ways to stay focused. For instance, Rico attempts to beat his time every day, a goal that is both challenging and achievable. Not only do these challenges help Rico enjoy his work, they also strengthen his self-concept. Every day, he sees what he achieves and how he improves. This makes him feel satisfied and confident. And when he can no longer find ways to challenge himself, he'll find other opportunities to continue to grow. The Main Ideas, Chapter 2 if we don't exert control over our minds, we will react to each new thought and feeling. Psychic entropy is a mental state of inner disorder and disorganization. To protect ourselves from distractions, we must find ways to control what we pay attention to. Chapter 3 The Conditions of Flow Flow 
So far, we've learned the importance of finding focus and identifying activities we can enjoy. What else do we need to achieve flow? Xixent Mahalai has identified for key conditions. First, we must perform an activity with clear goals and rules. Let's take, for example, a boy named Alex who is learning tennis. Tennis is a game that has clear rules, rules for how players interact, how to score points, and who wins. It also requires both technical and strategic skill. To score points, a player must hit a ball with accuracy and aim for specific parts of the court. Tennis also allows Alex to fulfill a third condition for flow, finding the right challenge for his skill level. When Alex first starts learning tennis, his skills are at a very basic level, simply hitting the ball over the net is the right level of challenge for him. Thus, Alex is in a state of flow, because this is an enjoyable activity for him with an achievable goal. Soon, however, hitting the ball over the net will become too easy for him, and he will become bored, losing his state of flow because he is no longer challenged. To maintain a flow state, Alex must increase the level of challenge to match his skill, and update his goals accordingly. Alternatively, Alex may realize that he has a lot more to learn about tennis than just hitting the ball over the net. This will cause him anxiety, which also pulls him out of the flow state, because he is overwhelmed by a challenge that does not match his skill level. To return to a flow state, Alex can decrease the level of challenge, for example, playing against an opponent at a similar skill level. The right opponent will force Alex to focus and hone his skills, improving his game, without overwhelming him. Alex will re-enter the flow state once his skills match the new set of challenges. Finally, to achieve flow, we need to receive feedback about our progress. Whether Alex's goal is simply learning to hit the ball by himself or competing at a high level, he will get instant feedback on his performance. Having this information will show Alex what to focus on, and how far he has come. And all this will motivate Alex to continue growing his skills. The Main Ideas, Chapter 3 Xixent Mahalai has identified for ideal conditions for achieving a flow state. To achieve flow, we must perform an activity with clear rules and goals that require skill to complete. To maintain flow, we must continually adjust the level of challenge to match our skill. Chapter 4 Finding Meaning Through Flow What does it feel like to be in flow? Through his surveys of people around the world, Xixent Mahalai has found that for feelings come up again and again. Because we are using our skills fully, we should feel that our attention is completely absorbed by the activity, leaving no room for other thoughts or worries. In a state of flow, we will also feel a sense of control. This is true even if true control is never possible. For example, while playing a game, we may lose, but we always feel in the moment that we could win. We stop overthinking our actions, making us less doubtful and anxious. In other words, we become less self-conscious. Importantly, we don't lose our sense of self altogether, after the activity, we feel that our sense of self has gotten even stronger. This is because we have used our skills to achieve new things, which reaffirms our sense of self. And finally, we lose track of time when we are in flow. Minutes and hours fly by because we are so immersed in our activity. Xixent Mahalai noticed that flow always pushed the person to higher levels of performance and led to previously undreamt of states of consciousness. In other words, when we're in flow, we're always being challenged, which pushes us to grow, making us happier and more satisfied. This can be as simple as making sure that each of your tasks are well suited to your skills and aligned with a larger purpose in life. For instance, Xixent Mahalai recounts the story of Serafina Vinan, a 76-year-old Italian woman living in a remote village in the Alps. Serafina feels a sense of purpose because she knows she plays a pivotal role on her farm and in her village. She knows what she must do each day, so her life is filled with very clear tasks and goals. Serafina wakes up at 5 and works full days cooking, baling hay, milking cows, and doing other tasks that challenge her physically and mentally. Her skills are perfectly suited to these tasks, so she is fully absorbed, they are neither too easy nor too difficult for her. Serafina can also see what she has accomplished each day, which gives her deep satisfaction. Because she experiences each day in a state of flow, she doesn't view work negatively and, given the option, reported that she would not choose to work less. Vinan's Town is special because it offers a lifestyle capable of balancing harmoniously human goals with the resources of the environment. But Xixent Mahalai believes we can all achieve flow, even in less optimal environments. We'll cover this next. The Main Ideas, Chapter 4 Flow feels satisfying because we are totally immersed in activities that offer achievable goals. In a flow state, we stop overthinking our decisions and lose track of time. 
We also feel a strong sense of personal growth because maintaining flow requires us to continue building our skills. Chapter 5 Using Flow to Create Optimal Experiences Flow Flow can help us optimize every situation, even ones we reflexively dislike. Xixent Mahalai shares the example of Joe Kramer, a welder in Chicago, who transformed a mindless, routine job into a complex, flow-producing activity. He did this by setting an achievable but challenging goal, learning every aspect of the plant and its machinery. Not only did this activity require focus and effort, it also pushed Joe to grow. He mastered each new skill and can now fill in for anyone in the plant. By immersing himself in new challenges each day, and paying close attention to improve his skills, Joe has made his work highly satisfying. Xixent Mahalai believes that people have the ability to achieve flow even in the very worst situations, like solitary confinement. He has studied the writing and experiences of prisoners of wars and concentration camps, and learned that even there, some people found ways to experience flow. One Air Force pilot who was imprisoned for years in North Vietnam spent each day imagining every detail of a golf game. By focusing in on this specific situation and honing his skills in his mind, he was distracted from his day-to-day -day experience. And, when he was freed, he found that he was a better player. Other prisoners have devised elaborate projects of translating poems from memory. From these examples, Xixent Mahalai concludes that while our external circumstances may change, our minds are constant. This means we have the ability to control our subjective experience to a large extent. Using mental focus and devising projects with clear rules and games has helped people transcend even the worst circumstances in life. Thus, with practice, any of us can create experiences of flow.